If you're a very visual person, you might like this next type of question. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm not talking about movies or cartoons. We're going to look at tasks in the IELTS listening in which you need to label a diagram, plan or map. The fundamental difference between this type of question and others in the IELTS listening is that instead of only reading the question, you'll also need to make sense of it by understanding a visual representation of what you hear. The diagram, plan or map has to be completed with labels, which you should listen for on the audio track. You're usually given a list of possible labels to choose from on the question paper, and you need to put them in the correct place on the diagram, plan or map. There are a few more things you should know about the format of this type of question. First of all, the answers, that is the correct labels, are heard in the same order as the questions. And you have to write a letter, such as A, B and so on, on the answer sheet, not the full words. Let's have a look at how to do an example. Before you listen, the first thing you should do is to use the preparation time to look at the visual and work out what it represents. So in this example, we can see that it's a map and we can see that these are the locations on the map. And it represents the layout of a tennis center. You should also check what is already labelled and identify which labels are missing. And then naturally you should look at the options that you're given here. While listening, you should listen for the labels that are already given to guide your understanding. You should also, in the case of a map, listen for prepositions of place or other words which will help you follow the talk in relation to the map. Then choose the label from the list which will fit each gap. The most important aspect of this is to use all the information you're already given on the diagram or map to help you follow the listening. If you can follow the speaker, you're more likely to hear the answers. Here's a summary of this procedure. 